Hello and welcome to the first of what I intend to become a series of videos I'm calling Nuclear's Graphics Tricks. Each video will focus on a very specific, very narrow topic in graphics programming. Uh, maybe a clever trick or an algorithm I find interesting enough to showcase and explain through a short video. Uh, there might be similar videos for other topics in the future, but let's start with graphics and specifically uh, the first video is going to be a really short one. It's going to be about uh, my favorite dead simple technique for drawing outlines for 3D meshes. So let's say we're writing a sort of a modeling program which draws a number of objects and uh, allows the user to select one of them. What I want to do is uh, be able to draw an outline around the selected object as a visual indication of uh, which object is currently selected. And I have a very short example program here, very simple one, uh, which is basically just um, it, it, it just draws three objects in a loop, uh, a teapot, a sphere, and a cube. And when the user presses uh, the tab key, it cycles through the selected object. So if I run this, at the moment there is no indication, no visual indication of which object is selected. So when I press the tab key, I'm printing the selected object in the terminal, but uh, there is no indication to the user of which object is selected. I, I, I want to have an outline around the selected object. So how do we do that? There is a very, 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 very simple way to achieve that. And uh, the way it works is like this. First, we draw the back faces of the selected object. In this case, the teapot. But we're drawing them as wireframe. And the trick here is that if the thickness of the lines when we're drawing the back faces as a wireframe uh, is l greater than one pixel wide, so if I increase the thickness of the lines, you can see that the lines go outside of the silhouette of the object. So then what I can do is draw the, the object normally on top of that, and the result is that every line which was in the center, let's say, of the object gets obscured, except for the part of the silhouette lines which remain visible uh, rendering the, the outline we want to, to have. And this, this works with any kind of object, with convex, concave objects, it doesn't matter. And it's extremely simple to implement. So let me show you how to do that in OpenGL. In, in the loop where we're drawing this, uh, these three objects, the only thing we have to do is before drawing the selected object, so if the selection equals to i, okay, set the line width to 5 or whatever other, it, it just has to be uh, th thicker than 1, it doesn't matter, 5 pixels is fine in this case. Um, then I'm going to call it the exact same function again, draw object i, but this time draw it as, as wireframe and draw only the back face. So in order to draw the back faces I will call gl cal face gl front, so the front faces will get cal. Uh, also, I'm going to draw the object in some other color, which is a um, distinct color, 3F. Let's say I, had, I think I had 110 in the example. Um, and obviously, in order for uh, this color to take effect, I'm going to disable lighting and enable it again after this call. And the only thing I have to do in order to, to instruct OpenGL to render the object as wireframe instead of field polygons is to call GL polygon mode, GL front and back, GL line. So this instructs OpenGL to, to draw everything as lines instead of, or instead of as field polygons. And then I, I have to reset that state as well. Polygon mode, GL front and back, GL fill at the end. And that's it. So basically we're just drawing the object again exactly as we used to do before, but this time we're setting GL polygon mode to GL line, we're disabling lighting and setting a color that we that we want to use for the outline, and instructing the OpenGL to uh, cull the front faces instead of the back faces. So we're going to actually draw the back faces uh, as wireframe. And really, this is, this is all it takes. 
So now, if I press tab, it just works. And that's it. That's that's the simplest way to implement outlines in OpenGL. And you can obviously use the same uh, technique for uh, other APIs or for software rendering. It doesn't matter. Uh, but in spe specifically in OpenGL, it's just uh, five or six more lines of code. And uh, another call to the same function which draws the object. Thank you for watching. And see you the next time with another uh, probably a, a bit more involved uh, graphics trick. Goodbye.